this is my latest project that I've had for about 10 months or so. I haven't really videoed anything to do with it, but I've had, I mean, I've been doing a lot of work to it as far as these things are usually all pretty rough and they always take a lot of work. And it was pretty rusty. And I started all by purchasing the classic fab sheet metal, all the green panels. And I've replaced quite a lot. Let's see. Oh, I still got a bunch of junk in here. But I did uh, cargo floors, both sides. As you can see, the bottom of the bulkhead patched all the way across. The pillars and the, the rocker on that side, inside, outside. This pillar. And, oops, still got to do the bottom of the doors, as you can see. And patch that. Of course, the rear corner and the battery tray, all that good stuff. And I'm working on this side currently. I mean, it pretty much needs all the stuff you'd expect one to need. I've pretty much decided to work work with everything right now from the bulkhead on back because it has all the typical rust up front you know the dog legs and the you know all the typical stuff it needs the floor up here but i figured to at least work from the bulkhead back and make it usable enjoyable drivable and i can do the rest whenever i mean i put a wiring harness in it and done brakes and of course you know clean out the fuel tank fix the fuel tank i've been rebuilding these camper windows and because this was a conversion camper it started life as a, a panel but by the way if you have one of these windows i could really use it because you about can't find them and i'm only missing one for this side i have one that i haven't rebuilt yet and, and i need the other still and Let's see, still haven't decided if I want to do away with somebody put a camper vent up top, I might do away with that. But let's see, now here's the engine. I haven't really done anything to it besides carburetor and alternator. And then you see the battery tray patch and everything. This uh, rear apron came from Wolfsburg West, but let's see. About this is heavy. I got a lot of junk back here. But yeah, I was thinking about putting it back to some type of camper configuration. And I don't know if somebody made the camper, if a company did, like if it was Sundial or Easy Camper, not really sure. But the last last thing this was used for was some guy was living in it on a piece of property. And I mean, it's pretty rough, but as far as buses go, I guess not so bad because where it counts, it's okay. Like the frame rails are good, the roof is good, and the title is good. And that's about the most important parts. <laughs> Got undercoating everywhere. The original color was that, uh, that turquoise, which is a neat color, but it's blue. So somebody painted it blue. <laughs> And I guess we'll go for a ride and we'll go from there. Well, well, I'm driving on a safari. I'm probably, I'm probably watching the camera more than where I'm going. Whoa. <laughs> That's pretty neat. This will be great. This will just be great. house but other than that <laughs> it's a 
pretty fun driving experience. Pretty death defying. So it feels. I also rebuilt the steering too, so at least the steering's tight and it stops straight. But it's quite the experience. I don't yet have the speedometer cable, and so we did a GPS, you know, a phone speedometer, and I found that as fast as I really care to go is about 50 miles an hour. <laughs> Anything over that feels like you're about to, well, I don't know. It feels sketchy when you go that fast. Perhaps it takes some getting used to. But the Safari windows help. It's kind of nice having the airflow. I guess that's about it. Oh, and I, oh, I will. I have come up with a name for this thing because it, I've decided to name it Toaster because it looks like a toaster on wheels. And it's hot in here and it just reminds me of a toaster. <laughs> I guess I'll wait for this truck to pass so we don't get run over. Uh, well, I guess that's about it. I'll see you next time.